Hey, Gabe here. And I'm Johnny. Today we're gonna talk about Little Nightmares, a 2017 indie game that was released for a bunch of stuff. The world is a large and dangerous place, especially if you're a little child, and never trust a grown-up. There's not much more I can say about the game's story without spoiling everything. No text other than counter instructions appear on screen. Nobody ever speaks, and if you somehow manage to pass through the game completely ignoring your surroundings, you get no story at all. The backstory and lore aren't necessarily hidden, but they are slowly and constantly revealed to you as you traverse throughout the game, both by the environments and the people you come across. You play as a little girl in a yellow raincoat, Six. She's apparently in some sort of boat called the Maw, which, just like her name, is not even mentioned anywhere in the game. Trying to find her way out while avoiding some monstrous looking people who seem to be keeping her and other children in there. The game is puzzle based, much like Limbo, except it's 3D. The mechanics are really simple, you can't do much more than run and move things. The world is so unproportionately big in relation to you, it was made by and for adults. Everything is always out of reach, and you have to find your way around nooks and crannies to advance. Throughout your journey, you'll find lamps that can be lit, statues to smash, and little creatures called gnomes that you can hug. These are the collectibles of the game, so keep an eye out for them. You are in a dangerous place. Kids were not meant to just wander around the mall, and nearly everything can potentially kill you if you're not careful enough. Most times when you're caught by a monster, Six wakes up scared at her last checkpoint, <gasps> making it seem, to me at least, that she had a little nightmare in which she just died. That doesn't necessarily mean that the whole situation she's in isn't happening, it's just that your recent failure might not have been real. The development team was admittedly inspired by Spirited Away when created this game. And if you've seen the movie, you find many references to it in the environment, some situations you find yourself into, and even major plot points. In my opinion, the environment isn't just proportionate to you, but since you play as a small, lonely child, the world you see has the appearance of being much larger than it actually is. A doorknob is just out of reach, but the stairs are quite usable, while the monster's anatomy is both their strength and weakness. Like Longcar's Magi here being blind but having a keen sense of smell, or the twin chefs who can run fast after you, but they are too chubby and can crouch and try and grab you under a table. Most part of the environment seems to be, in practice, unusual for them all on account of those proportions. The game has a really eerie and scary atmosphere, which we personally like and it suits it really well even though it has a cartoonist kind of style. Most rooms are dark with little secrets hidden in plain sight. The music is played only in key moments to intensify certain emotions, like the feeling of distraught when a monster is chasing you, or to make you feel worried when Six gets hungry. But for the most part, it's silent, and you're left only with the sound of your own steps and the cracking noises of the boat, which, surprisingly enough, make you even more immersed in the game, especially if you're playing at night. Well, this episode ended up being shorter than the others, but that's because Little Nightmares is a short game. Seriously, you can finish the game in under an hour if you're rushing. There's even an achievement for that. But even though short, it's a really cool and interesting game that makes you more and more curious about the game's world the more you play. And if after you finished, you feel like you didn't get all the answers, don't worry. It's supposed to be like that. Because not only is Little Nightmares getting a direct sequel, there's a mobile game and even a comic book separated in two issues that tell you a bit more about this universe. So if you played it, tell us what you thought about it in the comments below. And please remember to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. It takes less than a minute and really helps us. See you next time. Bye.